So what do you do if I give you a function and I tell you, graph it for me? There's a couple of things you can actually do, which are really kind of neat. One of them is using a table of values. Okay? A table of values will never let you down. Here's a beautiful little equation I've got here for you right here. There's your X and Y values right there, all summarized into a beautiful equation. Okay, so let's go. Let's use it. Okay, here we go. There's your X. There's your Y. Why does X go first? Because you're determining what values of X you're going to use. Okay, the equation responds by spitting out the Y's. Okay, input, output, just like we described earlier. All right, so here we go. Now, what values will you use? You know what? Throw some neg negatives in there. Throw some positives in there. But keep it simple. Oh my goodness, keep it simple. So I'm going to start from minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. Good enough. All right? Now, let's respond here. Okay, the y equals to 2x minus 3. So in this case, you're going to go 2 times minus 3, minus 3. Well, that's minus 6, minus 3, that's minus 9. Look at this one. This is going to be 2 times minus 2, minus 3. Well, 2 times minus 2 is minus 4, minus 4 and minus 3, minus 7. Let's see if you can figure out a pattern right away or not. Because remember, all mathematics is a pattern. Here we go. 2 times negative 1, minus 3. 2 times negative 1 is minus 2, minus 3 is minus 5. Do you see the pattern yet? Yeah. They're all increasing by a rate of 2. Whoa, 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 wait a second. Rate of 2. Well, remember, wasn't that the rate earlier on that question that we talked about when we talked about renting the car? Right? There's your rate right there. That's your rate. That, in fact, works out to be your slope. Oh, my goodness. We're getting somewhere with this. So, okay, let's use this rate. Let's guess. I bet you that's going to be negative 3. Let's prove it. 2 times 0 minus 3. Yep, 2 times 0 is 0. Minus 3 is minus 3. Add another 2 to this. I bet you that's negative 1. Prove it. 2 times 1 is 2 minus 3. <laughs> negative 1. Look at this. That must mean that that's going to be 1. How do you know? 2 times 2. Minus 3. 2 times 2 is 4. Minus 3 is 1. And so on. Look how easy this becomes. Right? Look at this one down here. Again, this is going to be 2 times 3 minus 3. Wait a sec. 6 minus 3 has got to be 3. Well, yeah, all of these are changing by a value of 2. There's your rate. Your rate is 2. This is now stepping into a bigger world. This is now interpreting the equations that you're given. All right, so guess what? Let's start plotting this. Now, you know what? You know this is going to be a straight line. Why? These are all increasing by 1. These are all increasing by 2s. So you know what? In order to draw a straight line, all you need is two points. But wait a second. What two points? any one of them. I'm going to pick this one. Why? Because it's got a zero in it. There's your x values. There's your y values. You know that the first x value is zero and minus three. One, two, three. There's your first point right there at zero minus three. Then pick another one. I'm going to pick that one. Okay. There's one minus one. There you go. There's one minus one. That's the point. And guess what? There's your beautiful line that you're going to draw. That's the line that represents this. You don't need some fancy, huge line. You could just pick the two points that work, draw a line between them, and you're done. That's how this works out. Now, don't forget a couple of neat little things that I put down here. Don't forget your independent variable, which is your domain. And if we wanted to do this, we can actually write down this notation, right? Okay, we can go from minus 3 to 3, but wait a second, should we put a bracket here? That goes on forever. That goes on forever. So guess what? No bracket, right? So what is the actual domain of this? The domain goes on forever this way, goes on forever this way. So it's from negative infinity to guess what? 
positive infinity. Fair is your domain. Isn't that hilarious? Look at your range. Same idea. Your range is from all of the values, from negative infinity to positive infinity. So guess what? From negative infinity to positive infinity. There's your domain and range. There's how you set up a table of values. That's how you do a question like this. Very simple. When we get into the next chapter, we're going to dive into this heavy duty, baby.